We're following the Arch Wiki and we've uh, done this link, that link, and the third one is help reading, which is actually something I would, I should have done three years ago. So please take the time to follow this tutorial. Okay, there's a lot of information in the Arch Wiki and a lot of um, ways to tell us things. And if I had read this, that would uh, avoid confusion. I would have maybe learned faster. So read this text. Okay, most articles in ArchWiki do not attempt to provide. Uh, it's written. Try. What's this? DRI. Let's follow the, the link. Don't repeat yourself. That's indeed what they. Oops. Try to do. They want to say it once, and that's it. But sometimes, well, you can't do it otherwise. Uh huh. Okay, so where possible such supporting material is indicated in the article with special formatting. So sometime it ref sometimes it refers to another ArchWiki article or somewhere else and this little sign is an external web page, so you know, and a man page which looks like this. So this, this formatting, this way of pres presentation of, repre of uh, showing us uh, what it is, you can see it already in the look here. Okay, so regular user or root, if only I had known it. So this is uh, root and this is the regular user. And it's explained a little bit later. The numeral or hash sign indicates the line is to be entered as root, meaning uh, often sudo uh, or, or in depending where you are in the situation, you need to maybe add that to it. Where is the dollar sign? It shows that you just can be Eric, a regular user, so don't need to sudo anything. So that's important. Um, assessed, okay. Accessed with sudo minus ei and then running sudo command, that's what I said. And then a notable exception to watch out for. This alias makes blah, 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 blah. In this example, the context surrounding the numeral sign communicate this is not to be run as a command. This is just text. So they say that this thing here is not a command um, like this one up here, but it shows a explanation, a text. So that's okay. Now we know that sometimes it's not a command, sometimes it's just text. A comment. Normally, in the, indeed, we see uh, what to do because they say append up, 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 something to a file and then you, you have to append this to a file. So you do control C, append it, that's it. When changing things, I will always uh, go for nano. There is also VI and Vim and so on, but um, we'll probably use nano all the time. So this actually says, well, copy paste, control C, control V, and go open etc bash bash RC. If you want to overwrite something, you can use the output redirection. So echo something, so write me something, echo my host name and write this to, send this to etc host name. What happens that is that you make a file named host name and you put this in there. So that's a redirect. Output redirection can also be to append. That's important. So double uh, uh, quotes, or you say that bigger than, uh, means that you keep off from the pacman.conf and you add something at the bottom. So we'll add this custom repo without the quotes. That's what you are going to add at the bottom at in etcpacman.conf. When prompted to create directories, we're gonna they ask to make directory mount boot. Okay. If we want something to be executable and X, so we're going to change the modus to execute a script. You see more information here. 
Some slide, sometimes we change something in the bash RC, which is our configuration file for bash terminal. So if you say ch change there something and you want to reload it, you have to source it. So reload the bash RC and then your changes will be applied. That's quite an important one, actually. You need to know that. And then from time to time they say install this and install that. So we have here this official package. Um, yeah, there are different official, there are lots of repositories. Let me show you that. So repositories, these are the official one, the core, the extra, the community. There's a special one. You have to activate that one. And it's all lib32, lib32. And why? Steam is installed. So if you want Steam, you need multi-lib. And there's also Arch Linux repo. Okay. So the official repositories, those guys there. And then you can say install foobar. It means you have to do this. So if they say install a pop up package, then you do pacman minus s pop up up. Sometimes there's this little sign up here which says AUR, meaning you have to, well, Oh, to Trizen, to Packer, to Yahoot, to Pacaur, all AOR helpers um, to install Fubar here. Or um, it, you can also download the package build, extract it, verify the content, finally run in the same folder. Let's do that in another separate tutorial. And then the base development package, that's something we're going to need and install. We'll see it later. When an article invites to start, enable, stop and restart systemd units, like services, it will not indicate the detailed instructions to do so, but instead you read something like start blah, 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 example service. So that means you have to know, you just have to know, if you read this, you know, but otherwise you are stuck, you say, okay, what's this? So it means system control start, and this sign means sudo. So sudo system control start example service. And you can start things, you can uh, normally would do enable and then start. That's the two things you should uh, remember. Enable start and maybe a restart as well. Um, this is the home and this is also home. To go to home Eric in my case. Um, pop, pop, pop. So enable blah, 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 means actually sudo system control enable and then that line. And I have to use those guys. Ellipses are probably things that are, yeah. Not sure what this is. We'll figure it out later. Encrypt file systems. Not part of the actual file content or code output. Instead, present omitted or optional text as not relevant for a discussed subject. Okay. Understand. We'll see. We don't need it anyway for the installation. Okay. I um, hope you, you've read all that and um, I will make a summary of what I think is most important. All right.